Hello there. How are you doing? My name is Keshav and you're watching your average programmer. And today we are going to talk about pixel perfect design. Doesn't matter whether you are a pixel perfect design hater or a aficionado. Did I nail it? And just for the sake of context, when I say pixel perfect design, I actually mean implementation of design in the front end uh, in terms of functionality and responsiveness uh, from a developer perspective. I used to belong in camp A where I used to hate that term. Whenever I used to hear someone talking about pixel perfect design, I would simply go bonkers in my mind and I would not simply believe that. And even in my own projects, whenever I used to hear that term from my clients or from my managers and whatnot, I used to be like, yeah, nah, in your dreams, maybe not out loud, of course, because I simply did not believe in pixel perfect design. And I think I have some of my own reasons to believe in that. I have categorized that into two factors. When you are young in the industry, you are learning your tools your languages, frameworks, build tools, communication channels, platforms, you are meeting new people, you are learning new tools every single day and your brain has to process a lot of things. So by the end of the day, if you can deliver a functional product with good enough design and on time, that would give you a pass. The responsibilities of uh, giving functional products and delivering it on time superseded delivering pixel perfect products. So I would cut my corners over there. And coming to the environmental factor, I used to hear a lot of people say that term, but not everybody could walk the talk. That kind of tuned my mind into thinking that it's just a term to say, it's just a term that you say to your clients or, or you just brag about it just for the sake of talking and you don't really implement it. But recently something happened. The other day I was given a task to implement a 3x3 tic-tac-toe grid. And I also had to handle situations where the number of items would be anywhere between one item to nine items. So I came across this solution. It works out if you have one item, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, based on that, the grid would just adapt to something reasonable and you have a design. Uh, based on the number of items, I conditionally applied uh, the classes I was writing in SAS. I used child selectors to apply the borders appropriately. And I was making a video demo to, to send it over to my team that works in a different time zone. And while I was doing my demo, I noticed a difference of one pixel in the border. So the first row was having a border over here and the bottom row was, second row was having a border over here and say in a difference of one pixel. And if I was in my say previous state of mind or previous positions, I would have tried my best to push that code and hoped that the clients would never see that or would never request to make changes to that one pixel in difference in, in borders. But something weird happened really and I'm, I'm really surprised by the fact otherwise I would not be making a video about this. What happened was I was not okay delivering that. Unacceptable. I thought we could fix this and at that very moment without doing anything my brain just gave me the solution. I didn't even have to go to stack overflow at all. My brain just said, oh, well, you are applying the border to the second item. Uh, but if you apply the border right to the first item and border right to the fourth item, their borders will align and you'll have a pixel perfect line. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And I, and I really could not believe like I am this person who is now thinking how to get a pixel perfect layout and design. I'm like, what is happening to me? Because I'm not that kind of person or I use, I, I'm not that, I was not that kind of a developer before. And in my opinion and experience, I think it has to do with the responsibility factor and the environmental factor as well. Right now, I don't have the responsibilities that a beginner developer would have. I do have to catch up with the new things that come up in the industry every once in a while. And of course, I'm not overworked or overstressed as I used to be before. Before I used to believe in hustle culture and whatnot, I would be doing multiple jobs, even outside my full-time job, to make sure I 
earn a decent amount and i'm talking about this when i was i don't know in my first year or second year of my career i was making somewhere between 200 to 400 dollars a month and just to push it to 500 dollars or 600 dollars per month i would take on these extra jobs but then that comes with a cost obviously I, I usually am overworked overstressed and i would try to avoid or cut corners wherever possible so i would just make sacrifice in terms of design or in terms of pixel perfect design so wherever i could get by with a good enough design i would not sweat over there i would just let it go and also talking about the work culture and because i am working with people that have that kind of mindset of actually implementing pixel perfect design people who actually walk the talk i'm also somehow tuned into that mindset of okay i also need to deliver pixel perfect design or in my work so when i saw that issue earlier i was like this is not acceptable i must fix it and i did fix it without the help of stack overflow which is magical in 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 its own ways and i thought let's make a video about it so that people who hate pixel perfect design or that particular term might understand that it's not only them it's because of a lot of uh, responsibility related factors and also because of the environmental factors thanks for tuning in um i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye this is already a third take and i am going to I'm going to get mental about this. Every single time something goes wrong. In the first take, the sound was all funky and it did not sound good. I don't know why. And in second take, I forgot to hit the record button and I just kept yammering for, for 10 or 15 minutes. Right now, thankfully, sound is recording. That is recording. Okay, let's just focus. Let's focus.